Hello, everyone. Welcome to Morning Coffee. Thank you so much for tuning in. So this is going to be a general energy reading for your weekend. Yes, this is your weekend edition. Friday, April 5th through Sunday, April 7th. This is a general reading, so please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. If you'd like a look into your own personal situation, go ahead and email me. I'll get you all set up. Um, you don't even know, need to know what kind of reading you would like. Just, um, you know, tell me a little bit about what you're going through and a little more about the clarity you're seeking, and I will help you pick out a reading. Now, if some of you have noticed, I have changed what's in the description box. I no longer have all of the readings that I offer in the description box. There was just way too much going on in there. So um, if you would like to know, if you would like a list of what I do offer, just email me and I'll, I'll send you the list right back, okay? Cool. Um, like I said, weekend edition, yeah? I hope everyone had a great week. It is Friday, woohoo! Um, and I hope everyone enjoys your weekend. You have a good weekend and all that. So this is, and, and this is a general reading, okay? So this is not specific to anything, love, career, sign, whatever. This is just whatever spirit wants to discuss with us for today, okay? Alrighty. So with that said, let's get to it. Hi, spirit. Please make me a clear channel for the collective at this time. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved. Please bring forward the best messages for the weekend of Friday, April 5th through Sunday, April 7th. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thank you so much, Spirit. So I've been trying this new little technique, right? As I'm channeling the energies, I literally, f I channel the energies into my body and then I flow it into the cards through my hands. Oh, look, the chariot, hee hee hee, yay. Um, and it's really cool. Like I can literally feel it like flowing through my hands into the deck. It's really kind of a cool, a cool feeling. And today I, it, it actually felt, it was really, it was pretty intense, very tingly, very tickly. So that's, so that's why I laughed, because it was literally like tickling my hands. <laughs> okay, one more shuffle, guys, and then we're going to see what comes out for the day. All righty. <clears throat> well, not the day, the weekend, yes? This is our weekend edition. So Friday, April 5th through Sunday... April 7th, The Magician. Okay. Weekend edition. Friday, April 5th through... Whoa. Good, <laughs> Good Lord. Okay. And here I am thinking, when is the rest of the, <laughs> the reading going to fall out? Well, there it is. All right. Uh-oh. Okay, underneath the deck we have the devil. All right, this is separate. I'm gonna read this first. We have Moon Child, King of Swords, Ace of Cups, and the King of Cups. All right, next underneath that we have the Page of Swords, the Page of Cups, and the, Ch and the Wheel of Fortune. And then we also have the sun here with a hidden mystery card which has fallen face down. So we will talk about that in a second. Let's start up at the top here. You have moon child. Now, we have a new moon today, I believe it is. Someone mentioned, because I asked during morning coffee a few days ago and someone said it was, I think, Friday. So yes, I believe we have a full moon, not a full moon, a new moon today. And a new moon is perfect for manifesting. Okay. Whereas a full moon is perfect for releasing. And with the energies of the magician here, which is at the top of the reading, I really believe that's what we're doing. Mm 
manifesting. Okay. Now, King of Swords, Ace of Cups, King of Cups. I hear a bunch of crows outside. <laughs> Change is coming. Um, King of Swords, Ace of Cups, King of Cups. I really do feel like there is a deep, there is a strong amount of balance here between the mind and the heart. Um, for many of you, I'm going to say it this way, for many of us, we've really been working on balancing our mind with our heart, but also kind of leading with our heart, right? Using the mind to, you know, develop a strategy or see something clearly, cut through the bullshit, that kind of thing, but also just kind of leading with your heart here. The devil energy that's underneath the deck, though? I mean, I don't want to say it's freaking me out, but it's freaking me out. <laughs> I mean, I don't know why it's here. And I'm looking into it, spirit saying, it's, it's just fear. It's literally all it is. It's just fear. But what are we afraid of? That our manifestations aren't going to come through? It's an interesting concept. Okay, at the second row here, you have the Page of Swords, Page of Cups, and the Wheel of Fortune. Everything is turning in your favor. It's almost as if, well, for, okay. Very interesting. This is like, um, this is a reflection of the King of Swords and the King of Cups energy. The mind and the heart are working together. They're working in tandem. The Page of Cups representing the dreamer energy, the, the, the love energy, the, the, the innocence even. Um, the Page of Swords representing the mind which is seeking, seeking opportunities to find that which you desire. Developing the process in your mind, thinking about it, envisioning it, you know. The, 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 I, you could really see the Page of Swords and the Page of Cups as the energies of manifestation, like the process of manifesting between the feeling aspect of it, holding the feeling of it, and then envisioning it with the mind. And then the Wheel of Fortune. This is a good thing. The wheel is turning in your favor. It, the energy of this feels, this just feels like, even though even though the cards are saying that the mind and the heart are working in tandem, it just feels like the mind is a little overpowering, overpowering at the moment. Because it's, I don't know why, and nah, there's that devil energy. It's hard to believe in this right now for some strange reason, which is so crazy because just like a week or two ago, it was totally different. All we had all the belief in the world and now all of a sudden it feels like it's hard to believe again. And then we have the sun though, is at the very bottom of the reading, okay? But I wanna see what this card is. The four of swords, okay. Just chill, <laughs> just relax, just relax. The sun is shining and we do have a depiction of the sun and the moon here. You have the sun, and then you have that big old full moon on the Four of Swords. There really is a need to just relax and chill out. The universe is on your side. Everything is working in your favor. But you have to believe and trust that no matter what. I really do feel like even, I really do feel like head and heart are in balance here, and it's more than just the mind or the head that is kind of getting in the way. It's also kind of the heart too. It's like they each are carrying these small amounts of belief, which are uh, uh, well disbelief, I guess you could say, that are coming together and like forming this devil energy here. It's very interesting because I was, yesterday, there was one point where um, I was, you know, kind of in this energy and my guides were like really encouraging me to believe in myself. And I had a, a vision, I was walking through the hallway of my 
by building and I envisioned my aura just kind of expanding into like this big golden thing but there was just this one little spot down by like the bottom right that wasn't as full as I needed it to be and it was less than 10% of my aura but that small piece was enough to create a pretty big hiccup in the system so I'm sharing that because that's kind of what they're showing me now that's kind of what I'm seeing it doesn't have to be a big chunk you know it can be a very small piece but that very small piece can be pretty significant right I'm not saying that you're you're gonna be you're like derailing yourselves or anything like that I mean it has the potential sure but obviously we don't want it to get that far but there's just a need to to continue to to rest to calm the mind especially when it gets out of control okay four of swords with the sun <laughs> everything's going to turn out exactly as it needs to as it's supposed to of course I have to say in divine timing right okay um let's see let's move to some clarification here i don't know which deck i want to use though i guess i could let's just go with the epic tarot today All right, I want to start by clarifying the top row here. Let's give this one more shuffle. And let's get a little more clarity, please, spirit, for this top row. Moon child, king of swords, ace of cups, king of cups. The head and the heart are working together here. They're in much greater balance than they used to be. Ah, look at that. The chariot has fallen crossed on the magician. Huh. <laughs> the wheel of fortune. The knight of cups. You know, you know, it's almost as if there's almost, there's like a halt in the movement right here. Underneath the deck, you have the Six of Cups. So we're talking about some sort of soulmate. Mm. Okay. Cancerian energy because of the chariot potentially um, doesn't have to be a cancer you don't have to be a cancer or you don't have to be dealing with a cancer it could be an effect of some sort of cancerian energy we have the wheel of fortune the knight of cups with uh, the eight of wands in reverse though there has been a halt there has been a halt in the movement we also have one more card here temperance yeah <laughs> <laughs> yep there has been a halt hasn't there a stop in the movement there's also no communication there is well Okay, I'm not going to say no communication. There may be very little communication. Or for some of you, there's, good, there's no communication, okay? But, this, you know, this is a general reading, guys. So there are a lot of different scenarios, a lot of different ways that this can play out. Um, so this new moon could be pretty significant. This could bring major change. Major, major change. And spirit is, is just asking for patience. Literally, that's all we're saying. We just need you to be patient for a little bit because there's some big changes coming. 
we need you to stay in your balanced position between head and heart, but we also need you to remain open-hearted. That's what the Knight of Cups is representing. I'm also seeing some sort of offer, whether it's you wanting to move forward with an offer, or whether it's someone else wanting to move forward towards you with an offer. And that's also why the chariot is sideways. The chariot is not reversed. The eight of wands is reversed. The chariot is not. The chariot is sideways, you see? Right there. The chariot is sideways and it's crossing the magician. Sideways means you don't wanna move, but you don't wanna stand still at the same time. Very much waiting for the right time to strike here. I would say. And the Eight of Wands in reverse is speaking to the fact that the time is not right to strike. The air is not clear. The air is not open. There is not a straight shot. And we're not trying to waste ammo here. <laughs> okay. But then with that Knight of Cups energy, your heart is still open. You're still willing. You're willing to do this when the time is right. You're just waiting for it. And even though your head and your heart are in balance, you damn near, you could say union, because spirit did just say union. There's a little bit of fear, a little bit of doubt, but also whatever it is you're waiting, because now I'm kind of seeing this eight of wands as kind of in reverse, as kind of pointing to that devil energy. That could be the holdup, uh, toxicity, codependency, fear, attachment. Codependency is a big one. Fear is also a big one, but not as big. Because with your head and your heart, and that's why it didn't quite make sense when Spirit was saying it's straight up fear. Now, it could be fear in the sense of not that you're afraid to make some sort of move or move forward with this. It's somebody's afraid to let go of something. There is attachment here. Ego could be coming into play. And so the Eight of Wands, in my opinion, is pointing directly at that devil energy. And that's why the Eight of Wands is reversed. That's why there is no clear path ahead. There's no straight shot forward right now. But you're remaining open with the Knight of Cups energy. And there is some deep change that's happening with the Wheel of Fortune. And this could just be within you. Like, don't get it twisted, y'all. I'm not saying that it's just on the other side where this other person has some sort of codependency or attachment or something. No, no, no. It could be you going through a massive change and being like, mm, do I really want to deal with that? And that's why uh, uh, the universe and spirit is asking for patience here. Temperance. There's a balancing act that's happening. Now, Page of Swords. I'm going to get to this bottom row here because we have, not the bottom row, the second row. We have Temperance on top of the Page of Swords and the Moon Child card. And I feel like spirit is either saying someone is watching you or we want you to be pay very close attention to what's going on. Like, keep your, keep your eyes peeled. Keep your eyes open. Follow the signs. Pay attention to what's happening around you. But remain patient, okay? Let's get some more clarity here on the Page of Swords, Page of Cups, and the Wheel of Fortune. Now, granted, keep in mind, guys, oh boy, the Wheel of Fortune came out twice. We have another crossed card here. We have the Knight of Swords. Ooh, there's the sun again. <laughs> the Ace of Cups. All right. Underneath is the Two of Pentacles. All right. Maintaining balance. What is this? The Eight of Pentacles is sideways. Holy shit. Okay. The Hierophant. Mm. Wow. So we have the Page of Swords crossing the sun, which has fallen out with, oh, there's something else under the sun. Oh, shit, there's, oh my God, you guys, look at this. The sun, the Seven of Swords, and the Two of Cups. Holy shit. <laughs> 
So we're still talking about this soulmate relationship that we started talking about. I think it was two days ago. And then the Page of Swords was crossing all of that. Okay, so on the part of whatever's going on, whatever spirit is asking you to pay close attention to with this Page of Swords here that has temperance falling on it and the new moon, or I'm, I'm sorry, well, yeah, the, the card that's representing the new moon, but this is Moon Child, which talks about the faces of the moon and all that. Um, that also has the Hierophant here. Pay close attention. This other, the other party or the other part of this equation may be learning some really serious lessons right now. And so that's why you're being asked to be patient. And if it's a situation in which maybe you cross paths with this person fairly often, maybe you're friends with this person or something like that, just pay attention to the signs. Keep your eyes open. Just watch. Pay attention. Now you have the Ace of Cups here. And the Ace of Cups is on the Page of Cups. It was kind of fallen on, kind of connected to this Knight of Swords energy. But I really kind of want to separate that. Because there's some sort of, okay, somebody, you're dreaming up an offer of love, right? You're also in a vibration of loving yourself with this Ace of Cups energy. But then... There's drama. <laughs> There's drama, guys. There's drama. There's a Knight of Swords energy. Now, I'm seeing that one, I'm seeing that two ways, and I'm seeing it for both of these ways. On one end, there's you that wants to rush in, say your piece, almost be somewhat of a knight in shining armor, armor in a sense, potentially. And then there's the other side of the equation. And what's going on on this other side of the equation is the sun, the seven of swords with the two of cups. There's deception, but there's some sort of deception that's being illuminated within a relationship. And I think there's some sort of, je like, like I said before, there's some sort of jealousy. Um, the, the page of swords here is crossing. It's almost as if, oh, wow. I'm having trouble with that one. Well, okay, there's a lack of communication. That's for sure. It's like they're trying to communicate with each other, but they're just missing each other completely. <laughs> completely. Totally off the mark. It's really interesting. Um, all right, so. Oh, but then with the page, I'm sorry guys, I'm, please excuse the pauses. I'm just taking time to take this in. The, the Knight of Swords energy is like, Excuse me. There's a defensiveness on the side of this, whatever's going on with this relationship. But you see, this is all falling on the Wheel of Fortune, which means things are changing. And the Wheel of Fortune did come out twice. Things are changing. You're needing to just have patience. There's you that kind of wants to be somewhat of, somewhat of a knight in shining armor energy. But then there's this other situation in which somebody here is super defensive. Even though things are kind of falling apart, 
Two of Cups, Seven of Swords, the Sun with the Page of Swords crossing that, meaning that there's really, there's poor communication here. There's a defensiveness around the relationship. This is why you're being asked to be patient. Now, moving back up here, Eight of Pentacles has fallen out and it's crossing the chariot. The chariot is like, movement is halted and it's weird. But there's, uh, what I'm getting with the Ace of Pentacles that's crossing that is I really feel like someone does not want to work towards something any longer. Or at least you're questioning it. So that's why, you know, Spirit is also saying, hey, wait, hold on, because you could be going through that massive change, right? You really could. Okay. And this Ace of Cups energy really does need to be separate from all of this because with the, the self-love that you've come into, that vibration that you've recently come into, yes, you want to be loved. Yes, you want to give love. But you also have enough self-love and self-respect to not involve yourself with this stuff. So even though you may have an affinity for someone, deep affection, even though you may want to be this knight in shining armor and just like rush in and save the day, you're like, hell no, no. I'm not doing that. Not doing that. Alrighty. Uh, I want to get some oracle guidance here. We're going to go with the light work. Okay, we're going to actually we're going to do the whispers of love first and then we're going to do the light worker oracle. Since we're just since we're just talking about soulmates this week. <laughs> oh boy. Just pay attention. Just pay attention to what's what's going around you going on around you okay just keep an eye on all that all right let's see if we can get those some advice best messages please spirit in terms of this relationship what to do what to do oh boy oh boy what to do y'all what to do well damn spirit Underneath the deck you have card number 50. Consider your foundation. You're being asked to look to, at how committed you are to love. Now, that is a very, very good question. And that takes me back down here. Oh boy, we have a lot of really interesting cards right now. Um, but I'm gonna look at these later. But asking yourself, how, I don't want you to look at that. We're not we're not looking at that right now. <laughs> Cuz I know you two, I know some of you know what that card is that Okay, moving on. We'll get there in a second. Uh consider your foundation. How committed are you to love, right? And that is taking me right here. Where the, to this ace of cups that's fallen on the page of cups where you have this knight of swords energy this knight of shining armor, but then an also strong, even in some cases, extreme defensiveness spirit. Spirit did say extreme, so I'm going with that. Okay. How committed are you to love? Like, if, because it feels like if you really were committed to love and loving oneself and realizing the value of that, then you would allow someone to do something on their own, right? You would, if someone really truly wants to get out of a situation that they're in, they will find a way to do it. And that almost kind of seems backwards because it's like, well, if you really, there's this misconception that if like you really love someone, you'll, you'll come in and save them and save the day. Oh, no, no, no. No, we don't save others. We save ourselves. But no one can really save you unless, I mean, what, you, you need to want, you need to want it. If it's going to be 
a serious thing. You need to want it for yourself and you need to make it happen. Because check it out, you, you rush in and save somebody from themselves and then all of a sudden they become codependent on you and then your relationship crumbles, right? Those are not the types of relationships we're going after any longer. Those are codependent relationships of the devil. Mm-hmm. So commit to love and love yourself and align with a partner that is doing the best for themselves. Does that make sense? I hope so. Okay. So now, wow. So now look at this. We have card number 28, the union of hearts. There is a connection of love that defies explanation. You also have card number 26, new love. Embrace this new opportunity of love that is here. This may pertain to work opportunities or spiritual growth. We also have love endures. Love does not give up or lose faith. Love is hopeful and withstands every situation. Hmm. And then finally, we have these three. The matter of the heart. There is more going on that meet, than meets the eye. Recognize what this is all about. You also have be supportive. Make a genuine effort to show that you care. And you also have slow down. When you are excited, you get ahead of yourself. Take some time to allow things to unfold. And this came out during that, that soulmate reading that came through a few days ago. I mean, I really <clears throat> don't feel like those need any extra interpretation because they don't. Okay. Okay, cool. I'm going to leave it at that. And I'm just going to close out the reading here with one card from the Lightworker Oracle. Best message, please, spirit. Uh, closing message, please, spirit, just to close out this reading for the weekend edition here. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, spirit. Just a closing message here, please. There it is. Card number 35, past life activation. <laughs> Unicorn. Okay. Oh, wait. Here we go. 35, past life activation. You have talents within that have been developed through many varied life experiences. You have had many lifetimes already, even if you don't recall them consciously, helping you evolve and grow into the loving being that you are today. Your desire to grow in consciousness and spiritual power to assist the divine plan unfolding throughout the universe is heard and supported by the spiritual worlds in all ways. To this end, past life material is being activated now for your benefit and the greater good. <clears throat> um, yeah, and I just feel like this is all this all kind of feels like it's some um, memories coming back, people realizing who they are, recognizing what they do and don't want, you know, just waking up, just waking up to the power within them, to the create their own reality, their own destiny. And this is why you just have to let somebody go through what, they're, what they need to go through. Don't get involved. Love yourself enough to know that it's not for you to get involved unless they directly ask you for help and even then I think especially when it comes to dealing with a relationship um, I would 
I would be strongly discerning about how much you help them with. You know, you don't want to get yourself wrapped up in some drama. Like you can't fix their messes for them. They have to do it themselves. All right, guys. So there you have it. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you guys have a great weekend. And let's see, what do I have going on this weekend? A birthday party. I'll be at Om Shanti today, Friday, and I'll be at Collective tomorrow, Saturday. Yeah. And that's about it. So you guys have a great weekend. Love you so much. And I look forward to connecting with you again for our next cup of coffee on Monday. Yeah? Take care. Bye.